know what's going on. This is a, you know, just a, a random moment. I wonder if I can ride around with the light on. Not just a random moment of, of just inspiration, because I, I just, I'm just feeling the energy right now. And I know this is not choreographed, I'm driving, but I just had one of my riders in the car. And we just really just had this passionate conversation as I just dropped him off, because, you know, he was just feeling the energy. And tonight was the first night I took him out and, and showed him kind of like what we really do when we moving. Like he's been, he's been around, he's been low, he's been working, but he ain't been working hard enough for me to really bring him on the scene like that and show him how, how it gets down. But uh, he, he made some progress, so I was like, yeah, we bless this kid, we bring him around and, and let him see what we move. Moving, how we moving and and I think we had this deep conversation that I like everybody to kind of to kind of get a piece of and understand so tonight well first off we just did the whole the whole A3C it's a hip-hop conference in um, Atlanta so if you ever did you know it's one of the biggest hip-hop conferences in the southeast um, you know it's, it's a huge you can look it up Google A3C uh, whatever um, and you know we had three major stages and headlined one of them did the main stage, you know, had the Outcast tribute and tribute the Mighty Outcast, one of the greatest groups to ever come out the South. On stage with Nick Grant, who was just on the BET Awards the other day, um, you know, on the same stage, rapping the same record with him, um, and a bunch of other people that are, you know, some sign, some want to come up, all sorts of great people. Shout out Scotty ATL, you know, um, uh, shout out Clay James. Uh, we just out there, we just out there working like this whole this whole time behind the scenes doing all sorts of shit. Anyway. So he comes out with us and you know he's just like yeah man you know we we, we ripped the stage up there bob ti all this other type of shit and you know he's like yeah man i'm trying to do this i want to be here i want to do this i want to do that i want to do this i want to do that and i was telling the kid i'm like look these opportunities don't happen because you know we woke up and was just like yeah we on some boss shit we're gonna call and make a phone call and we're just gonna be on the stage with fucking bob and this down the third that's not how this shit works that's not how none of this shit works like you gotta it's you you reach success because you do a lot of little things right success is is doing a lot of little tiny things right like it's not about who 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 you was on stage with who you network with who you got behind no the reason you was able to network with that person in the first place is because you were networking with somebody much smaller than that person you were fuck you were creating opportunities you were going to the gym every day and you were working on your craft and then you was in the mirrors every day you was you was practicing your records and you was at practice with your group and your band and you was going over the song over and over and over and over and over See, the crowd participation got better because the crowd started fucking with you more when you was on the stage. And then people started seeing you on the stage in some local, you know, magazine or blog started writing about you. And then people started paying attention to you. And you started getting on other sites. You started, it's like little tiny things you do right. You wake up at a certain time. You go out and do something at a certain time. That's success. And then you keep doing these little things over and over and over and over again. And then you wake up and you're on stage with big, with, 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 with B.O.B. and T.I. When just last year, and you know, you know, for me in my career and, and some of the artists that I've worked with, things that I've done, you know, we've, we've we've done this before. But for you know the project that I'm working on right now, you know, Yanni Mo and how we move in the city, this is this is another big step for her and her career and what we're doing overall, right? And it's a big step for Bonfire Atlanta. Shout out Bonfire Atlanta, uh, DJ Instrumentals, uh, King Fresh, the whole team over there. Um, but it's, it's it, you know dirty. It's a it's a big it's a it's a big step for everyone and how they moving to have you know Usher and Ti and Tiny in the crowd supporting you know the underground scene in Atlanta. Um, and I think I think it's a beautiful thing and to see Willie Hinn do his thing and go off, uh, Levi Johnson go off. But everybody that was on that stage was hand selected, and it's it's based off the work ethic. And the work ethic is doing the tiny things, the small things right, over and over and over and over. And not only doing the small things, but being open to criticism, being open and open to learning. You know, when it comes to Yanni Mo, I've had other artists I was working with when I first decided, you know, I'm I'm going to stop dealing with these these major labels and and, and kind of, you know, and television companies and I just want to start from the bottom again and I just really want to get get my hands dirty and get back in it I had other artists that were kind of lined up to kind of take the shine before Yanni Mo and that had full records already done and, and full you know just just ready to go and the biggest issue was that everyone's not coachable Everyone doesn't listen, everyone doesn't learn. And one of the things I love about, you know, the artists that I'm working with now that I'm dedicated to, um, is that I can say some shit that she don't like. I can say something that's, you know, may throw off a creative vibe, or, uh, you know, may, you know, be offensive, but it's that the third, she'll inhale it, she'll take it in, she might disappear for a day, she gonna come back and she's gonna execute on that exact thing that, you know, I advised her to do. And that type of, you know, work ethic and, and openness to change and, and openness to give things a try, 
because I'm not right about everything. Sometimes I say, let's try this, and we all come back to the table. I'm like, you know what? That was a bad fucking idea. But you know, generally, I'm, I'm, I'm right more than I'm than I'm wrong. And she works hard all the time. And she is a creative person that understands her creative goddess. And these things help us execute. You have to be co coachable, and you gotta be open. Like that's what's gonna allow you to really, you know, start winning because a lot of people with knowledge, and you gotta execute the small things. I'm gonna reiterate that over and over again. The small things small things over and over and over if you keep perfecting the tiny things you'll start seeing success in your career you'll wake up one day and be like damn did i just open up for usher damn did i just did i just do a record with beyonce damn am i am i in the studio with teddy riley damn like shit just happens it happens to you that way and excuse all my cursing but you know i'm just it's just a raw you know real talk moment i'm leaving the event right now i'm on my way home it's late it's, it's late i gotta wake up early and, and get back to it um but yeah man i just want to put that on under your heart and, and last note for artists out there is you gotta be consistent man i got some artists that i know you know or that i've seen moving and i speak with communicate with that are always like changing the vision Always changing the vision, never completing one vision because they're always changing the god darn vision. Listen, man, figure out what you're going to do and stick to it. You can't give up because it's not working for you. You got to go at it. You got to freaking go at it. And you, you got to perfect the small things and you got to keep going, consistent, persistent, get better and better and better. Take f criticism, take feedback and get better and better and better to keep going at it and stop changing your path up because someone told you that what you're doing ain't the sound that what you're doing ain't right i remember i used to when i wanted to be an artist when i was a young kid they told me that you can't rap and sing like no one no one raps and sing like you know that's crazy pick one thing and now every motherfucker is rapping and singing you know what i'm saying even though i mean i chose a different path in life and wanted to go behind the scenes to management this that, and the third however like it just, you know, it's a perfect example of like, you know, you got to do what the fuck you feel, man. Plus, I can never fucking sing, so, you know, it was probably good feedback. I should have been trying to sing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just wanted to give you guys, bless you guys with some feedback that I was just giving people that I'm working with. I don't know if this helps, uh, hurts, uh, affects anybody. This is just a real talk moment. Walk away with anything from this. I want you to just understand that if you perfect the little things, one day you'll wake up doing something great. You won't recognize how you got there. And, it, and it's because you get all the little things right. You talk to people right. You, you, you reach back out to people right. You know, you, you wake up and you work on your skill right. You get your vocal coaching and you, you run and you rap at the same time. And you, you do all these crazy things that is over the top. And you do it consistently. You perfect every tiny aspect of what you do. You perfect how you network. You perfect how you talk to people. You perfect how you keep in touch with them. You perfect your music. You perfect, you know, your, your relationship with the people in the creative space, the studios, the engineering. You just perfect every goddamn thing you're doing. Next thing you know, you wake up and you're, you're doing something amazing. You know, stay on your path. Don't change. Don't waver. You know, and take criticism. Take feedback. You know, take good feedback. Take bad feedback. Try it. Don't take too long to try new shit. Try it. If it don't work, get back to what you do know is works. Try it, it does work. Take something from it, learn from it, stick with it, grow. It's just advice to uh, anyone in the creative space that's trying to win. Give me boys, sir, love. I don't know everything, but I know a lot about a little and a little about a lot. I lost my voice because I've been out all night giving them everything I got. Follow me, Phase 6, Instagram. Go to phasevi.com. I got all sorts of documents and, and supplements and things for you to download just to, just to help you with your learning or, or contracts and things that you may need to help you with your career. And, you know, I'm here to support you guys. If you got questions, go to the questions page and, you know, leave a question. And I'll try to get back to you. Comment, subscribe, tell people about it. You know, we're going to rock out. Y'all going to watch, watch us win. Real talk, no chase. Yeah. Real talk, no chase. Yeah. 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 Y